What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Molly from Molly World, and today we're here to talk about Iruma. Welcome to Demon School. So, episode four opens up where episode three left off, where Iruma and Amiri were there's talking, where she asks to talk to him personally and private. And they go back to the room, and he's sitting there, he's waiting, he's talking to Glutton. So, she walks out in her original president outfit, and Iruma, the first thing he thinks is that Amiri, that she's back. But she's not. She thought wearing her outfit was going to trigger, you know, like that hidden thing inside of her that will wake her back up. And she right there, she breaks down. She basically tells Iruma, you know, how she feels disappointed herself and she's letting everyone down. And Iruma, him being such a nice guy that he is, he gives her a huge pep talk, you know, uplift her spirit. And he's telling her, like, listen, you're great. Everyone respect you because it is the truth. The whole, the whole council... They respect Amiri so much. The school respect her. She stands for everything that the demon school is. And she doesn't want to let no one down. She wants everyone to do their best. But she doesn't want to hold anyone back. Because she knows how loyal they are to her. Because remember she has her memory. She knows how hard they work. She she loves their friendship. And she want to give them the best. So she feels if she's not at the best. Then she can't be the president. Because she needs confidence. And she's scared. And she's telling this to Iruma because she tells him, like, listen, you're the only person that I can tell this to because I'm comfortable with you. And we all know the real secret of why she's so comfortable with telling Iruma this. Because she's actually in love with him, but she just don't know her true feelings yet. And I really love the fact where Iruma, he brought back up what Amiri told him uh, episodes ago where he tells her ideals and ambition are two different things. And when he told her that, for me personally, I thought that was going to wake her up. But that was just like a shocker for her. You know, that was something that jolt, you know, that just like jolted her and made her realize that Iruma is really such a great guy and he's really by her side. And he's like, everything's going to be fine. You cannot quit. You cannot give up. We're not giving up on you. I'm not giving up on you. You shouldn't give up on yourself. We are going to do this together. And it's so great how Iruma, he doesn't even know what he do sometimes, like giving her a pep talk. You know, he touches her, he touches her on the face and she just blushes. She shies up. She just folds, like she literally just folds under pressure. She don't know how to act after that. And Iruma sometimes being so nice, he doesn't really realize what he's doing and he's doing it because of the person he is you know the next scene you see carla and alice they're both looking for the hidden mystery person because in the last episode iruma called them but he didn't tell you but he didn't say why he called them so now we know that he have carla and alice looking for this hidden person both groups that they're in did out something to a person and in her group they let out a game it was a personality dating game and for alice group I think they let out like some uh, chemistry set and some books. And so they're both looking for something and they kind of put one and two together and figure out whoever's using this is probably using it for alter magic, you know, altering magic. So now it's kind of easier for them to figure out who this person is because all they got to do is find out who took both things from both groups and they can narrow it down to the single person i really love this next scene how all the demons in school they're actually one by one they're saying each level demons they love to get their spirits hyped up and i really love it because it's sure that they're all hyped and they're really really looking for it and don't forget the council they have been untouchable for a very long time since she's been in school and i think she's been in the school so far for three years or something like that so amiri renovo they get onto the podium and they get lifted up into the air and Renovo off rip. Like this dude, you can't even call it cheating. This is just his personality. And this is why you got to love this guy. Like I love this guy. I truly do. I love his personality. I love his character. I like the fact how he came in and he really took the whole show and just flipped it upside down. And he activate his charisma ability and he just going off. You know, he's telling everyone again what he can give them. And this, this is one cool dude. And he want to turn the school into a paradise, you know, as he's singing his song, amusement park and i gotta say listen this guy got some dance moves if you want to learn dancing you want to learn dancing from this guy renovo this guy got the dance moves i'm telling you this right now and once again his character he's just a lively person you know he's an open and outgoing person and the way he's singing the way he's giving everyone and trying like get them behind him is working so good because everyone in the school is chanting Renovo, Renovo, Renovo. The only people that are not chanting is the council because Renovo, he's so over right now and is not even dealing with his charisma, family trait, ability. It's actually just who he is. And these demons, they're just eating it up and eating it up. And Amiri, she's sitting there. It's time for her to talk and she can't say anything. She's so shy. She's so overwhelmed by everybody. And right there, she thinks... And it goes back to Iruma where he's holding her face and he's telling her, 
you know, not to give up, basically. And as she looked at the crowd, she looks at everybody. And you see the tug that's on that rock, you know, start to break. And her character, you can tell she's doing her best and she's admitting that she's weak. And her downfalls, that she's pathetic, she's cowardly, she's want to run away and all this. But she know people still believe in her. And she, all the demons in the school, they just stop like, whoa, hold up. I think she back. And how she was so passionate about this. And she's telling everyone, like, listen, I remember seeing all your faces. And she wanted to be the president before she can change the score. Because she believed that all demons shouldn't be going for joy. You know, they should be going for their own ambition. You know, this is what the school is about. This is what being a demon is about. Stop, you know, selling for pleasure. Pleasure given to you. That's not what we want. Be proud of your desire. You guys are demons. And they're all looking like... Like, whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? And she's telling like, what are your desires? Not pleasure. Desire. What do you want? Take what you want. That's what demons do. If it's in your reach, reach for it right now. And you can tell she get everybody just riled up. And she just goes off, man. She goes off. And if you don't know what it is, then you need to go ahead and you need to find out how to attain it. This girl, the way she got them behind her was amazing i really really love how she got behind her and there she rips off her bow tie and she says shut up and follow me and see my ambition through to make obviously the school the best and everybody right there just go crazy that's when they know the president's back hey like oh our president back and no matter how strict she is people love her because of that everybody go wild even renovo even renovo is surprised she's like yo what like I'm so surprised and her it goes back to her you know it's sticking to her and it appears that the fog in her head you know that you know I think that was holding her back is gone because she finally snapped and she's back to normal and the whole council dude you know they're all sobbing Renovo he's over there crying like a little baby you know and dude this scene was well well done and as she's looking to the crowd she see a figure growing and you already know who it is it's our boy Irumako like that's the reason. That's what was important to her. This is what important to her. And this is when she find out that she loves Iruma. This is what love is. She know what she want. And after all of that, this man Renovo, he's crushed. He's laying down in the, in literally on the couch in the bed of roses. And he's like, yo, I'm crushed, whatever. And he's like, yo, you guys win. But the council, they're like, yo, we don't care for that. What are you talking about? We want to know you need to cancel the spell. He's like, yo, well, I don't know no spell. And then here goes Alice. Here goes Iruma. And here goes Carla. They find out who the person is. They found him. And the guy, if you guys didn't notice, he was actually in the crowd for one of those scenes. He was in the crowd going crazy. He was in that crowd. Go back and look at it. I actually put a picture up. He was in the crowd. Found him by, you know, just backtracking his steps. How he borrowed the items from both groups. He borrowed an item from the game group. And he also borrowed an item from the new Magic Valor group. So that was easier for them to find him. They found him in the cave. And in his cave, dude, it's nothing but a mirror pictures all over the place. Like, dude, you are crazy. He was trying to wake up. He was trying to, you know, whip up his new batch. And they caught him right there. Like, dude, you could have done a lot better. And they're like, yo, you need to turn it back. He goes, dude, I, yo, my goal, my ambition was, to, was not to see the president downfall. My ambition, my goal was to see the president in a ladylike form. So he, he's living it right now. He don't care what happens to him. He loved this. He loved to see her in this form. She wanted to, he wanted to see her because he already admired her. Even in her tough form. But he wanted to see her in her rare ladylike form. So that's the reason why he did that. And this dude, this guy can literally probably die and go to heaven. And as he's saying that right now, well, actually die and go to hell because he already a demon. He ain't going to heaven. You know, he can die and go to demon heaven. You know what I mean? And as he say that, you know, you see the council. I love I love this scene. I really love this scene. How Emiri and the council, like the fire behind them, they're just like, just fuming. Like, bro, you of all people. It's like, you know what? I want you to admire something. You know, <laughs> dude, she tell him, get him out of here, dude. They take this dude to do He got 50 courses. You know it. You ain't finna be able to run the student council course, bro. You gonna get ate up. Like, he don't want that pressure. <laughs> they take him out and they run him out the building. So right after that, Amiri, she does the best thing possible. And she offers Renova, like, yo, how about you just join us, bro? Like, you don't got your group. Your group destroyed. You always want my head. You always want my my title. How about you just join us and make the council even better? And uh, everyone in the crowd, 
everyone in the council, they're pretty surprised that she offered him. And he takes it. And he tells like, yo, don't blame me if I end up taking over. And say, listen, that's the spirit. That's what I want. I want to push you to do better. And that's her whole goal throughout the school. That's the reason why she's the president. She want to push everybody, not just herself, not just this and that. No, she want to push everybody. And right there, she offered Iruma. Do you want to come to the council? I want you to come to the council. You're perfect for us. I give you the pass. Like, you pass. But I want you to join. Will you stay with us? He's like, nah, I'm sorry, dog. I got to do my own thing, bro. I appreciate you with me. I love the training. But, hey, man, I got to go do my own thing. I got to work on my own ambition. And that's why Amiri loved him so much. And he also goes ahead and he mentioned the guy, which was the leader of their group, saying, oh, he might come back one day. That boy never coming back, Iruma. That boy is locked up. And when you find out what really wrong with him, you ain't never going to want that boy back in the group. Like, I understand you got friendship and all, but you don't want that man there. Right there, the whole group, they all take a picture. They, they kind of all take like a victory final picture, which was really dope. Renovo, Alice, Carla... Uh, Iruma and the whole council they kind of take like the final picture and the next morning she walks into school and she's back to her old self telling everybody oh sit up straight sit up straight stand up straight put on your tie right whatever whatever you know she's back to her old self and right there you see you have a scene of Amiri and Iruma they're talking on the phone you know they're away from everybody and she you know she kind of like just keeping up with him you know making sure that he's not slacking you know excuse to talk to him you know he's asking her you know how's the council how's everyone and they're all fine you know she's like yo we miss you. They miss you. But he really, Iruma, he's asking how she's doing. And, you know, and she's doing fine because everything that went that went on is over. And, again, Iruma and Amiri, they already have that strong bond. They have that strong connection. And it continues to get stronger as the show progress. And you're going to see that constantly over and over. And that right there is when Gluttony pops out the ring and he tells her, like, yo, that's your girlfriend. He, and Iruma's like, yo, no, that's not my girlfriend. And he puts on the wig. Like... Gluttony is such a great character. Ever since he got his own personality and he was able to talk, everything has gotten so much better. Like, I love his character. I love his personality. And I, he can really help Iruma grow more and more. And right after that, Amiri puts on such a great front. Right as she get off the phone, she's like, she didn't think she would be able to talk to him in a regular tone after what, you know, he's seen her and her ladylike form. And she's thinking, like, maybe he noticed over the phone. Maybe he heard it in my voice. And she's just overthinking everything, obviously. Again, this is where she realized this is what love is. She finds out that she truly loves Iruma. Now she knows what love is. And she's freaking out. But obviously, she picks herself back together. She looks like the picture. And in the picture, you zoom in very close. You notice that, uh, Mary, she's looking at our boy Iruma, like... Iruma, he a goat, and he don't even know he a goat. Listen, my boy's a goat, and he don't even know. You got the baddest, most toughest girl in your school on your side. Iruma, welcome to Demon School. Season 2, Episode 4. Good, great episode. Guys, if you enjoyed this review, you know what you need to do. Drop a like. Drop comments. Let me know how you felt about the episode. Let me know all that good stuff. Always, and never forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell up top. You get the notifications for every time I drop a video. And until next time, guys, I bet you a goodbye.